Hello everyone, welcome to Scardia.com. This is Dr. Sal Khan with a general surgery course. Today we will be talking about the different surgical conditions of the rectum, but actually the rectum, uh, there are it's a big topic and um, I have decided to split this into two lectures. In the first lecture, we'll be talking about the different surgical conditions of the rectum, like uh, proctitis, like the polyps. And in the second lecture, we'll be talking about the benign diseases and the malignant, like the colorectal cancers, which are very much important in the general surgery. Uh, first of all, we talk about a little bit of, about the anatomy of the rectum like uh, from above it is connected to the sigmoid colon, from downward it is extending into the anal canal and then anal canal is actually you know um, uh, is, is connected to the exterior to the anal opening. So we'll be talking about the different kind of the anatomical relationships of the rectum, anterior relationships, lateral relationships and the posterior relationships like the anteriorly you know the uh, bladder and the ureters they are very important structures which are located anteriorly in case of males there are different structures like in case of males anteriorly it's a, a different structure in the uh, posteriorly it's a different structure uh, in case of the females uh, you know the structures are like the uterus and the pouch of Douglas and in case of the uh, males it's prostate and the seminal vesicles but if we talk about the lateral structures you have the obturator internus muscle the levator ani muscle uh, the fascia uh, and the supporting structures as well and if we talk about the posterior relationships of the uh, rectum so posteriorly uh, we know that posterior to the rectum is a sacrum in the coccyx so we'll be talking about the anatomical relations of the rectum. Uh, then we will be talking about the kind of the rectal diseases, like we'll be talking about the injuries, um, like what kind of the injuries um, actually they can, um, what kind of the uh, injuries are related to the rectum and what kind of the treatment modalities we have with them. We'll be talking about the uh, uh, solitary rectal ulcer syndrome and we'll be talking about the different kind of the proctitis as well. So these are all entities which are uh, about the rectal disease. We'll be talking about the different kinds of the foreign bodies in the rectum, uh, like foreign bodies can in the anal canal they can be in the rectum or they, they can be high up in the rectum and the sigmoid colon as well. So what kind of the procedures we're going to do to remove the foreign body like the laparotomy in case of the upper uh, foreign bodies which are located in the upper rectum and the colon and uh, like the recto, uh, recto uh, rec uh, rectopexy uh, is another procedure which we perform for the removal of the foreign bodies. Uh, there, there is another condition which is called as a rectal prolapse and it can be a mucosal prolapse or a semi-mucosal prolapse or it can be a full thickness prolapse. And most of the time prolapse is secondarily to some reason like uh, in case of the children it's only the, the mucosa which is protruding downward. In case of the younger children, uh, they're secondarily to the polyps and in case of the adults, it is secondarily to the hemorrhoids, like the third degree hemorrhoid or the fourth degree hemorrhoid. But most of the time it's a mucohemorrhoidal prolapse, like the fourth degree prolapse with, with, the, with the rectal mucosal prolapse. Uh, we'll be talking uh, the details, uh, treatments in case of the prolapse. We'll be talking about the solitary rectal ulcer syndrome and it's secondarily to uh, some kind of ulcerations, uh, secondarily to the altered bowel habits or the different kinds of the uh, like inflammatory bowel disease, ulcerative colitis and uh, um, the, uh, the Crohn disease as well. So um, then we'll be talking about the uh, proctitis, which is uh, just simply the inflammation of the rectum. But uh, the causes for the uh, uh, for the uh, for the inflammation of the rectum or the proctitis are very different. It can be a radiation proctitis. It can be a ulcerative proctitis. It can be proctitis due to Crohn disease, or it can be because of the gonococcal infections, or it can be because of the uh, lymphogranuloma venerum. So we'll be talking about all these uh, one by one. What kind of the 
histological features uh, give us a clue about the specific etiology and there can be tuberculosis proctitis and uh, we'll be discussing in detail one by one. Uh, then rectal polyps are very common in the children. There can be uh, simple adenomas, there can be uh, you know um, a kind of a tubular polyps, there can be hyperplastic polyps, there can be um, hamartomatous polyps, there can be inflammatory polyps. Some polyps like the tubulovillus or hyperplastic, they have uh, increased chance of malignancy or it can be it can be greater than one centimeter. So we, we'll be talking about all these. So um, there are other lectures on our website, which is cardia.com, general surgery course. You can always go there, get the access, and uh, you can always enjoy. So thank you for watching Scardia. For the detailed lecture, keep watching scardia.com.